There's something you hit right there that I've always heard, and perfection destroys profit. Okay. And a friend of mine had 38 stores. An individual said, if you can live with an 80% a B minus, the store running on a B minus, he said, you can have multiple operations. And you can be absent from this business if you can just be okay with 80%. If you can't, don't do it. Perfection is what will kill your profit. People aren't perfect. No. That's and that's just reality. And people are going to make mistakes. People are going to let yeah. you down. And I, you know, I, one of the lessons I had to learn was that I had to allow that ego that existed to be okay with that. The business didn't define me. Yeah. I defined the business. And, and that was something, I mean, I struggled with it. No question about it. And, and in that period where I lost Emily working for me, that's one of those areas where it started to manifest and reveal itself was, mm. you know, what's, what's slowing you down here? Oh, oh, your, your own ego is imagine that <laughs> I'm, I'm fighting myself. We never do that. Do we? We're no. not, never our own worst enemy. E e ego can get you bloody pretty fast. Okay. okay. Oh, and yeah. that can, you can make a lot of dumb leadership decisions with your ego. Yeah. Would I, so, would I rather be right or would I rather be in relationship? I've always got the choice. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks for sharing that short story about Emily. And I'm glad she's still there. And I'm glad you all have figured out how to make this work. <laughs>